Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with the income journey. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I hired four new writers for my blog. Now these writers have been writing for, some of them have been writing for a couple of weeks, others about a week, but things seem to be going pretty well with these writers. Now over the past year or so, my blog has grown pretty substantially. In that first year, I tried to hire writers a couple of times, but I never really took it seriously. The most I ever did was post a job on Upwork, which honestly didn't seem to be the best platform for going out there and finding these writers. So in this video, I'm gonna go through a step-by-step -step detailed process of exactly what I did this time to actually find good writers who are consistently pushing content for me right now. This month, we should hit 150 articles on the blog, and I plan to keep growing that. This month, we should hit 150 articles published. I want to keep growing that and start hitting 200, 300, 400 articles per month so I can scale this as fast as possible. And to do that, I'm going to need a good team of writers. So this, again, if you watch my last video where we went through ClickUp, it was a really good video. People seem to love it. That video was based on the system that Anne from Yes put together in ClickUp on how to manage writers once you have them. But this video is going to be about how to hire writers. Again, check out the Yes blog from Anne. She absolutely crushes it. She has a full guide on how to hire writers. And I essentially went to that blog. It's 100% free and followed it step by step. And it worked. I went there. She's absolutely killing it. Her stuff is great, right? I'm going to go through in this video and just explain my kind of process with it, some changes I made uh, just to suit my niche and my blog. But we're going to jump in. I know a ton of people are having problems finding writers right now. It does seem to be you know, kind of hard if you're not using some sort of system like this. Still, even with this, there just might not be the writers out there. It's definitely harder to get them right now. So what I'm going to do is go through kind of step by step what we did in this process. The first thing is the job board that we posted on. The second thing is going to be, you know, filtering down the initial responses and how we did that. The third thing is going to be looking at them responses and picking out who we're actually going to send through to the next stage. Then we're going to talk about sending them a sample post that they can go ahead and write for us to see if they're any good. Because no matter how good their kind of CV or their uh, proposal looks, that can be terrible. So let's go through this process. The first thing is where did I post my job? Well, I have been posting and I've hired a ton of people on work Upwork in the past just with different projects, e-commerce, all of that stuff. So I had been hiring writers in Upwork. I'd say in the last year, I've probably hired about eight writers from Upwork, but I'd say six of them only wrote one to two articles and they just weren't good enough. The content wasn't good enough. Two of them were pretty good and they still occasionally write articles for the site. But this time I'd been, I'd been posting on Upwork the last couple of months trying to find more people who were good I couldn't do it. I couldn't find the sort of people I wanted. This time I went with ProBlogger. I put an ad on ProBlogger and I got way more responses than I get from Upwork. Obviously ProBlogger is more dedicated towards hiring writers specifically, whereas Upwork is pretty much anything. So you can try Upwork. It's you know gonna be probably cheaper to post a job on Upwork than it is on ProBlogger. The ProBlogger ad cost $75. So there was a cost associated with running that ad, but we did get quite a few responses. Now there is other places that you could go out and hire from. You could go to somewhere like onlinejobs.ph, uh, people per hour. These are all websites you can find writers on. I like ProBlogger. It's kind of worked for me here. In this case, maybe I just got lucky, but it seems to have done well. In the ad itself on ProBlogger, I essentially went ahead and explained a little bit about what our blog does, the niches that we work in, and the type of articles that we are looking. I also put in there the price per word that I was willing to pay, so you should put that in there as well. I think it's better to be upfront about that so you aren't getting writers that are maybe just way too cheap and the quality's not gonna be there, or writers that are just way too expensive for you and you're not gonna hire them anyway. There's no point in wasting their time and getting them to apply when you're not going to hire them. So I went ahead, I put in my price, what the blog was about. Then I went ahead and added in a couple of other things about just, you know, work must be on time, uh, time management skills must be good, how many articles we are expected per week from each of the writers, stuff like that. In the bottom of that job post, I linked to a Google form and this Google form has about 10 different questions on it. So I'm going to go through and read these questions to you now. You will obviously need to change these questions accordingly, depending on your niche. But first thing was just name, obviously really simple. 
Second thing was their emails so that we could reply to them if we wanted to hire them. Next question was just asking them to tell us a little bit about them and their background. The question after that is where do you live? We're asking them where we live because we want to see if they're, you know, natively American. Obviously, that's the best possible, you know, situation. If they're natively American, they're going to know the culture better. We're writing for America. You know, our advertising comes from America, so we want our articles to be written in an American format. So we're trying to find that out. I'm not opposed to hiring writers outside of America. I've actually, some of the ones that I hired aren't American and they're doing a really good job with it. But again, if you want to be really strict with it, you may only want to hire American writers. Next up is a question specific to my niche. So this is just going to depend. I was essentially asking them, you know, are you part of this community? Do you take part in it? You know, have you done anything in it before? Do you have experience with it? So if you were doing a gardening niche, you know, you might ask, you know, are you interested in gardening? Are you in any gardening clubs? What gardening gear do you have that you could potentially write about on our site? So just going ahead and asking that. Then we asked how many articles can you produce per week and then give them based on X amount of words per article. Again, that's going to differ for you depending on the size of articles on your site, but it was just to get an idea of how many articles can these people pump out. I need them to do at least three articles per week. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. It's more admin for me having someone there who's you know, not producing content, right? If someone's there, they need to be producing at least three pieces of content per week, and it makes it worthwhile for me then. Next is what kind of writing experience do these writers have? So I want to see, you know, examples in here. I want to see, you know, niches that they've wrote in uh, and then take a read through their work. Next up was please link to any of the specific niche articles they've wrote in the past so we can see how they perform and what the writing looks like in this specific niche. Because some writers I find, you know, there's some writers who are really good at doing product articles, right? Product review articles. And they're really good at it. But then when they go and they try and do something else, they're really, really bad at that. Next up is just asking them, do they know how to use WordPress? I want my writers to go ahead and be posting directly inside WordPress so I don't have to deal with formatting articles. That takes way too much time. I want them right in there. So I want to see, do they know how to use it? So that is all the questions that were in the form. Now, this was at the bottom of the post on ProBlogger. I did get quite a few people applying directly through ProBlogger, but they were just, you know, you, know, you could tell that they weren't serious about it. Their proposal was like two lines. They didn't care. If the people can't read enough you know can't read our uh, post enough to look and see that we need them to fill in this form i don't want to hire them so on the form alone we got 37 direct responses now it's really really easy inside forms to go ahead and pop these up into a google sheet where you can read each line across for each person that's applied once i've got these in again i got 37 here i've probably looked at 30 of them because about seven of them have come in after that uh, and i'm gonna go through and tell you how many i narrowed it down to so i essentially went through here looked at each person's kind of cv and what they provided and decided is it good enough to go ahead and move on with this writer and get a sample with them? I'm really just looking to do the experience in the niche, looking at their example articles to see if they're any good. I you know, really want them to have experience in the niche. I think it makes it much easier for them to write, much faster for them to write. Uh, and the, you know, it's obviously going to be a, more, a better article coming from someone with experience. So that's the kind of things I'm looking for through. So out of them first 30 or so, there was about nine that I actually sent samples to. Uh, and out of them, we hired four. So some of them, whenever we sent them saying, hey, do you want to do a sample? They just didn't reply or they, they did reply and then didn't send the work back with the sample. So how that works is I went ahead, obviously they submit their email. I just send them an email saying, hey, you know, thanks for applying to our position. We like your CV. We like what you've put in, you know, the, the form. Do you want to do a sample? And with these samples, these are real articles for our site. These are articles that need to be done anyway. So I send them out to them and I send every writer a different article. Now, I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it. I think a better thing to, to do would be give them all the same articles. So then it's really, really easy to compare between the articles. But again, that is obviously just wasting money. These samples that we're sending to these writers are paid. So the person sends over the article with their PayPal email, and then we go ahead and pay them after they've sent it in. Even if it's bad, I still pay them, but we won't continue on with the writer. The ones who were good enough, we stick them into our ClickUp system. We don't add them to ClickUp until they've went ahead and provided you know, a good sample that you know can be approved. We don't put them into ClickUp until they've provided a sample that 
we like, we like their work, and we want to continue working with them. So that's essentially the process start to finish. I've actually got another seven here or so that I need to look at. Uh, it looks like some of them can be quite good. And Pro Blogger, they kind of still seem to trickle in here and there a lot longer than Upwork. It seems like after 24 hours on Upwork, you're not going to get very many more uh, responses to your job posts. So Pro Blogger seems to have been good for that as well. And I seem to get much more writers who are specific to the niche. Obviously, on Pro Blogger, if you take a look, there's a lot of jobs based on specific niches and it's all for writers. So these writers are out there, they're looking for jobs in niches that they actually want. Whereas on Upwork, you're getting a lot of broad generic writers. So that's essentially everything here. That's the process I went through. We brought four of them on. They're doing really, really well so far. I think we're gonna have to hire more and I'm sure some of them will drop out as their circumstances change. But this process, going through this and actually having detailed steps at each point in the journey, definitely helped me to get better applicants and better people on board than just posting a job on Upwork and trying to hire people from there. Now you could definitely post jobs on Upwork and take them through this CM system as well. Um, but again, I think just last year I was just hiring random people and not actually being diligent about that hiring process. So yeah, things are going well on the blog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys in the next one.